everybody. Welcome to the drive through review with me, Nutella Versace. And today we have a very special guest all the way from Rotterdam, the gorgeous, the one and only, Mandy McCandy. <laughs> Hi, girl. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great. I'm busy. I'm a busy yeah. bee. So can't complain now during Corona times. And yeah. what do you do? Because you're, you're, you can sing, you can dance, you're, you're funny, you're fishy, you're beautiful, like yeah, you're like a perfect good. drag queen. And I don't use none of that. <laughs> 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 no, no, I'm a, I'm a host at a uh, restaurant. It's called the Salmouse. Okay. Uh, translated into English, Salmon House. Um, mm. And it's at the river. Well, they it's good to, have a, good to have a real <laughs> fish at the Salmon House then. Yeah, this fresh tilapia serving you salmon. Exactly. <laughs> mm, delicious. What did you think about <laughs> the second episode? Um, I liked it better than the first episode. Yeah, I kind of wanted to see myself do, do the workout video. <laughs> oh, I love that one. I think this episode, the girls were way more relaxed. They had so much fun. And I mm -hmm. think we had a lot of fun with them. And like you said, I loved the aerobics challenge. I was really mm -hmm. like, okay, I would excel in that. And you probably too. What do you think about the prizes the girls can win for drag There's racing? no money. No, I was kind of in Corona time. Like, where, why is there no money? I think um, because you have to do so much for Drag Race. You have to bring so much stuff. Hi, kitty cat. Yeah. <laughs> um, that at least they, they, they could have like a little prize, like a little... Yeah. Yeah, prize of help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, who do you think or, did well in the challenge? I think Megan did very well. Yeah. Oh. I loved her look. Like, the bathing suit and the tits hanging out and, and, yeah. the, and the big lips, like, oh. Oh my God, she was the so moment pretty. she started spitting, I couldn't hold my laughter. Like, <laughs> I did not see that coming. That was so genius. I think nobody ever spat on an episode of Drag Race before. I can't remember well, not that intentionally. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> but also no. people I really enjoyed were Abby OMG. Like this completely Brazilian, she was funny, mm -hmm. you know, with an accent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> an accent. She was almost like Sofia Vergara from Modern Family. Mm -hmm. So she was funny. I even liked Chelsea Boy when he was walking with the sponsored water through the screen. Oh, that was the really fast thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was kind of funny. It was kind of funny, but it was too fast. It yeah. was like, oh, yeah. what? what? Yeah. <laughs> And I thought Envy Peru was quite good because you think she, you wouldn't think she was. She was strong. Yeah. In, in, in her like performance in, in, in yeah. um, the, the, the hosting part, like yeah. opening the video and being the host of the show. Yeah. Uh, she, she was a good host. I think so too. But I also <laughs> feel she prepared. She knew what she was going to say. She did not wing it. I, I, I would do so as well. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if I'm the host of, of, of the thing, like I'm the front yeah. man, yeah. front woman, and I have to open the show, I think I would have written yeah. notes like, what am I going to say, instead yeah. of like standing there and stumbling like, oh. Well, <laughs> I like, <laughs> yeah. I'm really like, I like to improvise a little bit and be off the cuff, like, and just be spontaneous. But mm -hmm. I think for opening something, you need to prepare or something. Start. You have, to have a start. Yeah. And if you have the start and then things will pop flow. up. Or come. Yeah. I think uh, Madam Madness struggled a little bit, but they also edited that way mm -hmm. with him falling and ha having to do retakes. I think his confidence was kind of like low because of he, he got picked last in the, mm -hmm. in the challenge before. What do you think about that when he revealed like he got bullied so much and that uh, always picked last in school and that's why he's kind of like, you know, uh, getting emotional by the situation? I think it's very brave uh, to do so. Um, to, to show that part of you that really struggles. Yeah. Instead of 
uh, keeping up the appearance of like being the confident drag queen that you are. And um, cause it's, yeah. it's okay to feel bad sometimes and it's yeah. okay to struggle. And I think it's very relatable. I think a lot of gay, queer kids are bullied in school and feeling left out or picked last or not having as many friends as, you know, the regular kids. Were you ever bullied in school? Well, I don't want to say like bullied, like really bullied. I mean, I got picked upon and um, picked last during gymnastics and, and yeah. I wasn't really that much of a fan of playing soccer and, and I mean all the boys in the class they, they played soccer and I I had Barbie dolls and, and I didn't Who doesn't? play cars. I still yeah. have the, I still have Barbie dolls. I could relate because I, I I did feel I was bullied in school and I had trouble. I was a very effeminate boy. And yeah, so I could relate to that and I think a lot of people can relate to that. And I felt it was genuine and I feel for her and I I think also like it takes a while to get over it and it, and she's just 23 or something so I can imagine it's still fresh it's not that long ago that you were in high school and maybe felt bad about yourself so I hope mm -hmm. uh, she feels better now but yeah I think that knocked her confidence a lot during the aerobics challenge unfortunately and also her boy drag was not like or take it more to it wasn't it. on point no <laughs> take it more no, extreme it was, like no. you know with a mm -hmm. mullet and like uber you could be nasty yeah very dirty but like a nasty ski teacher <laughs> also, I also, that would have been more funny so which team did you think did better team one or two team two is team entry right yeah 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 i i, I, I thought they were more funny yeah I funnier think too. yeah they go to the workroom, prepare for the main stage. The challenge is face, face, face. It's a makeup challenge. Uh, mm -hmm. And the guest judge is Nikki Tutorial. Yay! Nikki! I adore her. I adore her. I think she's a great judge. She's very international. And I think she knows what she's talking about. And she knows uh, enough about drag and the, the, the queer or the LGBTQ she's community. But how would you do in a in a makeup challenge because I would be team shit my pants because I'm not great at makeup. Like, look, I did my best to do something <laughs> <You're fine. laughs> 80s inspired. I think I would be okay uh, standing in front of Nikki. Um, but your if makeup I is had beautiful. three hours of, yeah, but today I did my makeup in two hours. Yeah. Uh, drag craze, you get one and a half hour for oh. your makeup and to get dressed and I think they take pictures as well so you have to put everything in one and a half hour and then stand in front of Nick tutorials first I would be a little bit starstruck <laughs> oh. then I will be like shit 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 is my am I not wearing too much blush um, um, um is there lipstick on my teeth um so yeah I, th I think I would like shit my pants a little but I think it's also fatty pan pam and mama queen we're talking about they're the sewing queens and not necessarily the makeup queens like what are your strong mm -hmm. points like if what would be a challenge tailor-made for you you think i think the challenge where they have to uh, record a song mm. i think that's a very yeah. fun one um like a goofy challenge like this episode the aerobics challenge yeah. i really love that one um Oh, gross. <gasps> My cat just barfed and she's eating it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, Saturday night, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday morning, she's struggling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, she had a night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, don't come near me. Um, <laughs> No, I, th I think I would just go with the flow. I mean, just just go with it. Make fun of the challenge, and and I think that's the best way to do drag race. Just go with the flow and have as much fun as possible, and be as silly as possible. Because mm -hmm. you never know when you're gonna go home. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And most of it is about showing personality and 
uh, be entertaining. I think that was um, Patty Pam Pam's flaw, but I think it was a lack of personality. And I know she has personality. I just yeah. have no idea why she wasn't showing it. Uh, other contestants are really hamming it up for the camera sometimes, I feel. Like they're really like aware of the camera and uh, showing more character. And Patty is kind mm -hmm. of like a little bit shy, a little bit blending in the background, which is never good in a reality TV show. No, you have to steal that camera. <laughs> because Abby had a little bit meltdown about she lost her little black corset. Her oh, family. another, somebody stole my stuff story. Because mm, oh. I have a little story. <gasps> it's, tell, it's, tell. It's, tell. Yeah, it's, I, well, it's kind of a funny one. Uh, this time, it's not about a corset, but about a fucking package of cookies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, you know the Christmas lip up video we made with yes. Galore and all the other yes. queens, like 70 queens okay. on a farm? I was there, girl. Um, Oh, yes, of course you were. <laughs> um, Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, I mean, sorry, 70 queens. Yeah, a lot of queens. Yeah, a including lot, a lot. And, and it was freezing. It was freezing. It me. was freezing. And you remember that big tent where we put all of our stuff? That tent was packed. Like the tables were yeah. packed with suitcases, bags, everything, because 70 yeah. queens bring a lot of stuff. <laughs> and at the end of the recording, everybody was going home, somewhere in the middle, one package of cookies. And I was like, oh, it was a long day, and the package of cookies looks lovely. Um, so I asked a few people, like, do you know whose cookies those are? Because it doesn't look like they belong to stuff laying around. So after asking a few people, uh, nobody knew whose cookies it were. So I took the package of cookies. A fucking package of cookies. Cookies. Yeah. <laughs> um, so two minutes later, Abby walks up to me and she's like, um, I heard you uh, got the package of cookies off of the table. I was like, yeah, yeah, I asked whose cookies it were and it didn't look like they belonged to someone. Um, were they yours? Yeah, it's like, oh, okay, well, here you have them back. I mean, cookies, yeah. it's not a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> um, and the next day she wrote this whole thing on Facebook about a queen stealing her stuff. And I was like, really queen? For a package of cookies so i wrote something like beneath the post like hey it's me the thief <laughs> still stealing your cookies <laughs> yeah um and this and we got got all in this bitch fight about the fucking cookies oh. so yeah abby this, this this story is not going away it's still following you yeah. um so i saw her like getting all mad about someone stealing her corset it's like ah i'm so mad one of these hosts stole my car set and I was like, oh, we're getting into this stealing stuff again. Yeah. Um, so so I, th I thought it was really funny. And then we get to the main stage. And first of all, we see Fred's look of the week with his really, really giant high forehead. <laughs> what do you think yeah, of that, the look? It wasn't even a five head. It was a six head. <laughs> <laughs> it was huge. Yeah. You know, he looked walked into the screen and I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> who's that alien? <laughs> yeah. Well, luckily he could make fun of him himself because he posted on Instagram, like yeah. all kind of pictures with giant foreheads and stuff. So, uh, well, his look, um, I think the eyebrows were too light. His hair was really dark. Uh, the makeup artist, I see where she was going to with like the halo eye. Um, but I mean, Fred is a pale white man. <laughs> Just give it a little contrast. Like yeah. use some more like dark colors in combination with the halo eye than a dark brown eyebrow and bring down <laughs> that wig a little. Bring down that wig. Um, I feel like they're trying to make Fred into this natural woman, but I think he's a middle-aged man mm -hmm. and there's not enough Botox in the world to make him look like a fishy real woman. Like exaggerate things a little bit. 
more. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit more. Bitch. <laughs> a little bit more drama, a little bit more dry. More contour, more blush, yeah. more more color exactly. on the eye. Like maybe a bold lip. Yeah, now um, she's like someone's mother from the Schilderswijk or something. Oh, but I love mothers from the Schilderswijk. <laughs> you know what I mean, like. <laughs> Yeah, I know. We get introduced to the other judges, which are Nikki Tutorial and Roxana Hases. She's the daughter of a very famous Dutch or even Amsterdam folk singer. Folk singer or... Mm -hmm. and yeah, and she's a singer in her own right. Quite successful. And yeah, I really like her. I don't really know what she was doing at a drag show. I really don't understand yeah, what I mean, Nikki Plessy is doing at the dra at the drag show either. Okay, now we, we can talk about the looks of the queens. Uh, first one was Patty Pam Pam as a painting from Vincent van Gogh. Starry, starry night. Yeah, I thought the concept was really fun. Yeah. Um, the execution. Yeah, what, I mean, what you said before about the makeup, being too small, you didn't really see it from a distance, um, and in combination with yeah, well, the challenge. Um, I think yeah, that's the reason why she was sent home. What we said, like she blended a little bit in the background, and even Fred commented mm -hmm. like she was lacking a little bit of personality. So I think that's why she got eliminated. And the next yeah. one is next. Chelsea Boy. I really love this look this, with the spray can and it was half color, mm -hmm. but they didn't show, really show it that well. But the black and white side, side of his was beautiful as well. It was really done very well. I really enjoyed it. We're, next I, queen. <laughs> next queen, uh, Mama Queen. Her spiritual mother <laughs> message. I didn't really get the concept of the spiritual thing. I think it was very floaty, as we say it in Dutch, zweverig. Yeah, heel zweverig. And the next one is Cedar Jean, who was really nervous about the makeup challenge. And mm -hmm. I think she did really well. I think she was very smart about it. Um, it was so punk, I think rainbow, that she... Jackson Pollock, club kid. I think it's great of her trying something new, something different. Yeah. Uh, I liked the outfit with the spikes, yeah. the colorful spikes. I just think that's about it that I liked. Because <laughs> it was just a, 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 a man covered in gold paint with yeah. gold, uh, colorful spikes. It, it, it didn't really have like that womanly fantasy drag vibe for me. But I think she was smart because the outfit was so amazing, but at the same time, distracting from her makeup. <laughs> because she painted, just painted the rainbow eye on one side. She covered half of her face. Mm -hmm. So I, I think she was smart to make her weakness her strength. Then Megan, the melting ice cream. Mm -hmm. I think she could have taken it a little bit further. The yeah. melted ice cream, and I agree on the 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 bathing suit part. It wasn't really flattering, so it was was just a bad choice of well, an outfit. By episode two, I'm beginning to suspect that she has a lot of bad choices. I mean, yeah. Well, <laughs> during the challenge. She did so great in that little bathing yeah. suit, and then she was like, "Oh, I have never been so naked before." Yeah, as a woman, I was like, "What about the challenge?" Exactly, your tits were hanging out. Yeah, <laughs> if you're good at being a tacky whore, just be a tacky whore. Just be like the most vulgar, <laughs> sexy ice cream melting that there is. That's what I. And that's what I mean. I mean, yeah. take that silhouette off of the aerobics video and the, the, the big titties and, and like the, the yeah. big hips as and, and just let some ice cream drip on top of that. Yeah. <laughs> and then we get yeah. Madame Madness uh, wearing an Gustav Klimt inspired look, which the judges all hated. 
I didn't really hate the dress. I don't think it was dragish. It was just a dress in an awful color. <laughs> I think the problem was um, it was just a print, printed dress. And even the mm -hmm. painting with Gustav Klimt, it's not just the painting. He actually used gold in the paintings. So the paintings do like shimmer and are luxurious. And for me, because it's mm -hmm. just printed, printed fabric, it didn't look expensive. It didn't look luxurious. No, it wasn't gold. Or, what do you think about Mickey's critique about she being a fan of his and following his Instagram? Did she felt like she was a little bit disappointed? Like he's, he done his, uh, she she thing. knew Metamatis and she knew yeah. what uh, Rowan, uh, his real name, what he uh, is capable of. He um, is amazing. I think because of what she saw him doing in the past, uh, gave, giving like extremely good makeup looks. Yeah. And um, during a challenge where it's all about giving face, um, this could have been his. Uh, challenge, but it, it wasn't. should have been his challenge. Should have, yeah, because he's the been his best makeup artist. And then yeah. you get All right next queen, yeah, Abby, <laughs> Abby, OMG with the crying rainbow. Oh my god! Now I know what the OMG stands for. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Not her best look. No, and um, she couldn't handle the critiques that well. No. Again, yeah. she is, you know, the dress was gorgeous. She has the body. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, she's clearly not a makeup queen. She, she can do her face, but I thought it was kind of like a safe choice. It was not that exciting and not done that well. Because I know she just posted a picture on Instagram of yeah. the look. And um, well, they edited the makeup. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think now it looks better. Now it looks way better. But yeah. I think she should have done that on the runway. But I felt like she was doing good in the aerobics challenge. She was brilliant there. So I didn't really feel she was in I think that saved her. I yeah. think that saved her. So too. And then we have Envy Peru, which won the challenge. But, and the ju judges were gagging over her runway look. What did you think about it? before I give my say. Oh, you got something <laughs> to say? <laughs> I think it was lovely. But um, with everything that she does, everything is executed so well and it looks yeah. so easy. The dress looked amazing. It was really clever that um, the, the what she wanted to do on her face with the makeup, the pop art, that they yeah. took the stripes of the pop art and put them on the dress. That's on yeah. like beneath the boobies and the ass yeah. and, and and her makeup looks flawless i think for me she was a winner as well i think based on the challenge <laughs> and the way i'll give it to her it's definitely not my favorite envy peru look because i've seen her in That's so fair. many cherry mugler inspired outfits which is amazing the dress is perfect i had like a couple of pet peeves or little things I didn't like. First of all, pop art. I've studied a little bit of art history. And if you reference pop art and comics and cartoons, mm -hmm. immediately to me comes to mind Roy Lichtenstein, which made these blow up cartoon figures that you, it's blown up so big that you see like the print, like the polka dots. If you look up uh, Roy Lichtenstein uh, makeup, you'll see many examples. It's done before. Mm -hmm. And so for me, she didn't bring it far enough. I think I know what you mean because she yeah. posted uh, something on her Instagram yeah. and yeah, they, has... added, they added some dots to it. Exactly. With <laughs> exactly. With Photoshop. The last one is yeah. Jane Jacquet as some kind of blue alien. I didn't really get the blue alien thing. No. I, I um, forgot her makeup, she forgot her lips or something. Um, I just don't see this being a, uh, well, 
a gift face challenge because she's a gorgeous queen and I know she can pull off some really gorgeous makeup looks um, but I, I really like the look that's <laughs> That's that's the sad part about it. Um, I really like the look, just not for this challenge. So yeah. then the judges are going to deliberate. And we get backstage. And there's a little bit of drama backstage. Yeah, because they all get on and uh, Abby. She yeah. is a feisty little girl. And um, don't let them get you. I mean, they're not exactly. bullying you. Uh, you're just taking the critiques a little bad. <laughs> yeah. I hope she brings some fire and spice and something nice to the runway next week. Yeah. Make this a fun episode again. Yeah. <laughs> and then we get... Who we stole have... my cookies? <laughs> you stole my cookies, bitch? Yeah. Oh, my lovely cookies. My caramel salty cookies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. We have the winner, which is MV Peru. You agree with that decision? I do. Yeah, I do. yeah. Even I do. though I have critiques, I do too. Well, I was sad for Patty and Madame Madness to be in the bottom. Do you think it was just well, somebody had to be? <laughs> exactly. And what do you think of the lip sync roar of Katy Perry? They had to lip sync to. Uh, I hate that song. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> glad I wasn't lip syncing. But I think they did well. Um, I liked uh, Madame Madness m more than I did uh, yeah. Patty. Yeah, I think so. Even too. though that dress did not help. <laughs> no, but she was smart. She cut the dress before. She was in the, when Abby was having her meltdown about the Madame Madness was cutting up her dress. Oh, she was in the back doing something. Yeah, she was cutting uh, up her dress. I didn't, I totally missed that part. Yeah. She cut her dress? Yeah, yeah. So she oh. was doing splits and cartwheels. Oh, she, she prepared. Like, yeah, so I'm in the bottom. I'm she was well. like, oh, I could be lip syncing here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, I agree. I feel bad for Patty Pam Pam because I would have loved to see her shine in so show sewing challenge. So maybe mm -hmm. that was her opportunity show to show more personality, but unfortunately she got sent home. Who do you think is gonna be lip syncing next week? Ooh. Well, it's an acting challenge. So I'm a little bit worried for Madame Madness because like this week, mm -hmm. her confidence was not great and she did not well do well in the aerobics challenge, which is basically basically oh. also an acting challenge. What and about Megan? Megan. She had two funky runways. Yeah. <laughs> I think Megan can be funny, but mm -hmm. if her runway doesn't get better, I've, I'm afraid she's going to be in the bottom again. I mean, it's still a game. Yeah. Um, you're in to win it. Yeah. I I, I think I would be. <laughs> um, I, you definitely so, so. Would be. Are you a competitive person? I think you are. Not really. No, <laughs> not really. No, 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 no. I hate games. I hate, like, competitions. Um, that's why I never compete. If I were to go to Drag Race, then I think I would go for the game. I mean, so if they would ask you for season two, you would join? I think you would be a good candidate, though, because you, you have a lot to offer. Beauty, talent. I, can, I have funny. some different, different aspects that I think I would be good at. Not yeah. the sewing challenge. <laughs> if people want to follow you on Instagram, where can they find you? In my Instagram is Mandy. McCandy, that's Mandy, MC, Candy. You have also other places where they can find you, just Instagram. Uh, Rotterdam West. Kelshafa. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much. And talk to you soon, girl. Have a great night. Yeah. Good luck editing. <laughs> oh, thank you. Ciao. Yeah, you're welcome. If you want to know when the next episode is of the drive through review, please turn on notifications. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I can always use the support. Thank you. Ciao. See you next time.